What's up you guys? I'm Thessaly. Welcome to my channel and in today's video I'm showing you my everyday makeup routine, also a couple of skincare tips here and there. So and in the process I'm answering a couple of questions that you guys submitted. So if you want to know the tea about my life, stick around and let's just get right into it. All right, you guys, let's zoom you in so you can see everything up and close and personal. First of all, I wanted to thank everyone who submitted their questions on Instagram and YouTube. I really appreciate that you guys are so invested in creating a, along with me this whole community, but let's just <laughs> jump right into the video. Okay, so usually, not usually, all the time, every day, I wash my face with face wash that I have. It's from August Invader. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. I didn't take it with me here to Curacao because it's a glass bottle, but it's a beautiful, beautiful cleanser for the skin. And I also have a cleansing balm that I use to take my makeup off. So. In the morning, I only use the August Invader face wash, but at night, if I have makeup on, I'll first use the cleansing balm, and then afterwards, I'll so I'll double cleanse. I'll use the August Invader afterwards. So this is the cleansing butter I'm talking about. This is from Elemis Superfood AHA Glow. It's actually so good that you don't really need to double cleanse, but I just love that feeling, especially after I have some good makeup on to do a double cleanse. But this one only suffices and you can see the consistency. It is really like a butter that melts all your makeup away. Really love this one. After I'm done with my with cleansing my um, skin, I go in with this facial toner. This one is from Fresh. I'm sure you would have seen this one in Sephora or it's pretty trendy, but I like it. It's a very nice toner. I don't really know what to a toner does. Don't really see much that it does, but I just like the feeling on my skin. All right, now the next step, this is really not necessary, but here in Curacao, because it's super hot, and especially in summer months, I love a good hydration mist. This one is also from Fresh. And I just love to spray it all over my face like this. Doesn't do much either. It just gives a very refreshing and cooling effect. It says that it um, refreshes, refines, look of pores, and I mean, it's just a nice extra bougie product, but I just love the feeling of it. All right, the next up is my moisturizer. Well, this is an eye cream. It's an eye gel cream from Fenty uh, Beauty, Fenty Skin. And honestly, I've heard um, Adrienne Houghton talk about this on her channel that she uses eye cream as her moisturizer because eye creams are a little bit more concentrated, a little bit thicker. So if you have very dry skin, which I do around my mouth and um, also on my cheeks, I like to use a, I think that an eye cream works just fine. I put a little bit like this and just put it all over my face and I love this one. So while I'm applying this, let's get into the first question. Um, I got a question about where am I from? And so yeah, for maybe the new people that haven't um, been subscribers for a long time, I am from Curacao and this is where I am currently. Um, I was born and raised here and I lived here until um, I was 19. After that, I moved to the US, to Florida, Boca Raton, to be exact, to do my college there. I did a college uh, degree in biology. And then after those three years, I decided to move to the Netherlands to do my master's degree. So that's a little bit of a backstory of where I'm from and my family still lives here in Curacao so that's why I come here pretty frequently. I try to come um, every year at least once a year and now I just want to make it a point to come twice a year because you know family is important and my parents are getting older and stuff so it's good to just make some more time to 
come and see them all right next up is this um rose oil is a nourishing rose oil from laura mercier this is also not really a necessary step but if you want that very nice juicy glow i would recommend this one it's, and also if you want something like a nice oil to use at night as well this is a very nice one so just use like a drop or two and i distribute it like that just distribute it all over my face so the next question is a little bit related to the first do you love curacao more than the netherlands i think this is a very um, difficult question because like i said i was born and raised in curacao so curacao will always be my home like I had a very nice childhood here, went to, you know, all my schools and everything here, still have some friends here, but at the same time, I live now nine years in the Netherlands, so of course I'm building my life there as well. So I have, I'm very content with my life in the Netherlands, I have a good job, uh, Uti also has a good job. so. It's just going very well we know you know we live in the hague so you know everything around so you've built it kind of a home there as well so that's why i say that i'm very blessed in that way that i have two homes that i two places that i can call home and that's very nice that's very um, fortunate so it's very difficult to say that i love the one of course i'm gonna say i love curacao the most because that's you know where i grew up but it's very difficult for me to move back to curacao because of just opportunities and i don't know maybe in the future that i'll move back here but at least not in the short term but i do love coming on vacations here it's just it's so relaxed so laid back and it's just nice to see family and friends okay moving on to my sunscreen this is the unseen sunscreen from supergoop it's spf 40 and it doesn't leave a white cast as you can see it's a clear sunscreen so for that reason i really like it and it's also a primer in uh, so a sunscreen and a primer in one it leaves your skin like just prepped and ready for your foundation so i really like that all right moving on to the makeup now i just wanted to tell you that i use this makeup bag it's a clear makeup bag from mac and it's very handy because you can see everything that's inside it i don't have a lot of makeup i do love makeup but i try to keep it you know very minimalistic and simple so pretty much all my makeup fits in this bag so um at least my everyday makeup i have some palettes that i don't put in this um in this makeup bag but every day what i do is just take everything out and then with each step like when i'm done with my foundation i put it in and when i'm done with blush i'll put it in. so i know like what's left on the counter is the steps that i still have to do i don't know it's just a method that i've been doing for a while now and it makes me do my makeup so fast like this everyday makeup i can do in 20 minutes and if i'm pushing it even in like 15 minutes so i just thought i would share that next up is my foundation if you if you've seen a couple of my makeup videos you've seen this foundation because i rave about it so much it's just like the best foundation i've ever tried it's the Giorgio armani luminous silk foundation and i have it in in color nine it's just a perfect um shade for my skin tone shade match so i'm super excited that you know the moment that i found this one and i usually do if it's a very light makeup i'll do one pump if i want a little bit more coverage i'll do two pumps so for today i'll do one and a half and um, we'll see let's see how far it goes and i go back and forward between using my beauty blender 
and my brush i also have this um foundation brush from charlotte tilbury sometimes i'm into the brush mode sometimes i i like the beauty blender the best today we're going with the beauty blender okay next question is do you work for a, an organization outside of youtube yes i have a full-time job at a nonprofit. Um, I work as a uh, product owner slash project manager there um, for a couple of years now. So YouTube is really my hobby. I do it on the side and I really love it for that, um, you know, the balance that I have at the moment because I feel like YouTube is, um, or the content creation, because I also do um, Instagram and TikTok, it really gives me like an outlet to be like busy with something different than work that's also the reason why i started this channel because i just wanted more in life than just you know my nine to five go to work come back home sleep do the same thing um again like the next day i wanted like something that's a little bit more dynamic that i can use um my creativity i also wanted to was very shy and i wanted to get out of my comfort zone and another reason is that i was consuming a lot of youtube videos and i saw that there was a gap in like people that looked a little bit like me like short with a lot of curves uh, my skin tone so i just was like you know what let me just try this out see if i like it until this day i really like creating content because it's not a must for me i have my you know my my professional job which suffices but still like this is such a fun outlet for me that i can do whatever i feel like doing and shooting i'm like yeah let's just do that i don't have to ask permission <laughs> to anyone and just experiment with content i'm not afraid to make mistakes and just go with the process and learn in the process so that's a very long answer to the simple question but there you go the key about um, a very flawless found application of foundation is good blending like i maybe sometimes even over blend i don't know if that's a thing but i just like my foundation to be very very well blended because I think that that's the way that you will get it to look like your skin, but better. All right, the next step is concealer. And I use these two concealer shades. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS. I've added this product and the foundation, by the way, in the products that I am repurchasing for life that I can't live without because it's that good. Never found a concealer this creamy and just super blendable like this one. And I've tried quite a few concealers. This color, my perfect shade is Chestnut. Really love it. It's almost like a color corrector. It's not a very brightening concealer or, or the shade at least. So if I want a little bit of that brightening effect, I combine, I mix a little bit of custard into this one to have a little bit more of a lighter shade underneath my eyes but during the day i just use this shade and if i want a heavier beat at night i'll combine this one and today i'll just do a combination of the two so you can see what i mean next question is where do i see myself where do you see yourself in five years it's a very deep question <laughs> and a couple of years ago maybe like two years ago i decided very consciously to stop making like five year ten year even three year plans because it just puts a pressure on me that it's not necessary i do still at the uh, beginning of the year i just have like more of a self-reflection moment with myself and just to you know evaluate with myself how the year went just to set not even goals goals but just more the direction that i want to go in for the upcoming year 
and this year was the first year that I actually made like a mood board it's nothing fancy or anything it's just a couple of pictures that I put together on a collage not even a physical one it was a you know a digital one and it's I think it's just fun to visualize the things that I will like to achieve this year but it's nothing like super deep or I don't put a lot of pressure on myself if it happens that's like super nice but I see it more as a way to put to bring focus to my life because sometimes I can go uh, different directions and this mood board just helps to stay focused and it doesn't have a purpose to put that pressure like I have to achieve this at the end of the year that's not it at all and the reason why I don't do that anymore is I just want to live more in the moment and just also be more open to opportunities that come my way and not be so closed-minded that you know in five years I have to be here or I have to be there and I have to do make these steps because that's just putting a lot of pressure and unnecessary stress on myself which is I don't know why I've done I've done that in the past yeah but in general I do see myself like with a little family, with a nice job that gives me satisfaction, brings me a good salary and I do want to still keep making content because that's just super fun. Yeah, that's um, re a really broad uh, picture of where I see myself. Alright, so with all of that being said, I purposely waited to blend the concealer out because if you wait a little bit you will get a more heavy coverage than if you blend it out right away yeah you see it's very natural and not like super super full coverage all right now that I have all my cream products on I'm going to set it with this translucent powder from Laura Mercier and it is in the color honey it's just the perfect color for my skin tone and under my eyes I apply it with this brush from Sephora it's a number nine it's a crease brush actually but I like it for my under eyes and then for my whole face I use this brush from Dior it's the number 14 so next question is what's your favorite season for fashion and I had to think about this a little bit because I love fashion and every season has its thing but I think fall is my favorite season because you just come out of summer and it's super hot and I'm always like so excited the first few months of um or the first month of fall because I just love the fashion of uh, fall you know with the layering a little bit with blazers trench coats with light knit sweaters and it's not really at least if it's dry not raining it can be so beautiful the weather in the fall still you know like maybe early September or like more towards the mid September it can be still very beautiful uh, a couple of beautiful days and where it's a little bit cold it's getting a little bit cold but you can still sit outside get some sun and I don't know it's just fashion wise it's it always gets me you know I always want to get a couple of new coats nice blazers fresh uh, button-down shirt or something like that some boots just the fashion of fall is so beautiful and chic and sophisticated with the tailoring and all of that I just love fall fashion wise not not when the weather gets uh, all muddy and uh, rainy that's not uh, that's not it but fashion wise it's just the best month in my uh, or the best season in my opinion this was a a random question but um, as a petite and curvy woman do you like to wear jumpsuits and I don't I don't own a jumpsuit at the moment I have one for just uh, around the house from Amazon but I think it, the tricky thing with jumpsuits is that it needs to fit me like there needs to be a lot of different uh, details for it to fit me to perfection 
I had a jumpsuit in the past which was so beautiful because it fit it was a white leg you know the top fits just perfect my problem with jumpsuits is that most of the time the torso part is too long for me because I have a short torso or the legs are not wide enough there is always something wrong so that's why I don't even try to invest or try jumpsuits anymore because just there is I've, I've experienced so many fails that I've given up but if you find a nice fitting one it's beautiful it can be a super chic look and very um, easy to put together because that's the only thing that you're wearing just like that's why I love sets as well because it's so easy to put together you look nice and chic you don't have to think about it because the set is already there for you all right so here again with the powder I make sure that it's very nice and blended because my contour I have a powder contour so it needs to be you know a very smooth surface for the for the contour to go on uh, nicely because otherwise it will stay a little bit patchy so you want the the surface or your your canvas to be nice and smooth and i'm not using a lot of powder i'm just making sure that it's nice and blended and right now it looks matte but when the oils my natural oils come through i will get that glow that glow from within will come back out so yeah next step is my contour i still have this contour kit from anastasia beverly hills 10 to deep i've had this for like a hundred years but i still have a lot of product you know only these two well these three now hit pan but there are still a lot of products i'm best believe i'm gonna use it and i'm using this shade this uh, deeper shade just love how how natural it stays on my skin tone and i'm using this brush from laura mercier it's the curvy one that they brought out a couple of years ago not sure they still have it but it does the trick but you can use just a normal contour brush as well okay next question is your current favorite curly hair products for spring and summer how do you maintain your natural hair and what kind of products you use so the, those couple questions in one and let me just apply this and then i'll go through my products but um lately i have been putting my hair in a bun a lot because i cut my hair i would say a year and a half ago i think or almost two years now ago and i really liked it but um, now it's grown and the length that it's at it's a very awkward length so that's why i don't wear it out so i'm just waiting for it to grow a little bit more and then i'll i'll wear it curly a little bit more i still i do wear it curly every so often but just not for my videos but for my slick bun what i use is this gel this is don't shrink gel curling gel from aunt jackie's i use it all over my hair to get it like very sleek by the way i the most important thing to me is like my shampoo i use the shampoo the exfoliating shampoo from briogeo and for my conditioner i use i mostly use a mask so i don't use a conditioner but i use a deep conditioner or a mask and i'm using the one from away at the moment i'll put it on the screen because again i didn't take it with me to curacao but that's what i use and then for my edges i use this matte pomade also from way first you know i've heard a lot of things about this pomade and first i thought it was only for you know more thinner hair not for curly hair but this works so good like if you want those very sleek edges this is it and i use it with this brush just put a little bit just a little bit goes a long way so i've had this product for like a month now and this is only what i've used so far because it's a very thick and very good product 
when I have my curls out, I use this product, this Bounce Curl Avocado and Rose Oil Clump and Define Cream. It is so good. It is a little bit expensive in the Netherlands and it smells so nice. In the Netherlands, it's pretty expensive. A little bit goes a long way with this one as well and it just leaves my curls super defined shiny smells so nice yeah i just love this product so much so that's what i use and to get my curls super defined i use this um brush from Den denman to get them very clumped up and that's it so those are the products that i use all year round pretty much with my condition well not really even with my conditioner and my shampoo for a while now I'll, I'll, i have sticked to the same one so briochio and away and um that's pretty much it sometimes for gel i also use the echo gel echo styling gel but i like personally i like this on uh, jackie one um, a little bit better Okay, so the key with this contour powder is to really blend it very well. I don't like my contour to be very like cut. I like it to be very seamless and well blended. And just like barely there. It's almost I, I pretty much use it like more as a bronzer than a contour. Alright, for our blush, I'm going in with this one. This is Dorit from Anars. I've had this, this, I don't know when I'm hitting pan with this blush because I use so much but in this little thing there is so much product, I don't understand, it's so good. It's just the right um, shade of like peach and pinky with a little bit of shimmer, it's just perfect. You can actually use just the blush, and, um, you don't really need a highlight. I do sometimes a little bit of highlight if I want to be extra but because this has a little bit of um, shimmer in it you don't really need that so the next question is travel plans for summer i don't really have any big plans of course this is already here in curacao it's a vacation in uh, august for uti's birthday we are also planning on going we have a wedding to go to in London and his birth is um, coinciding with his birthday and for my birthday and his birthday we also we always go to a different country because like I said our family lives in Curacao so for us that's like a way of coping with the fact that <laughs> we don't have family around us to celebrate our birthday so that's why we try to make it fun every year and go to like a different city in Europe not somewhere very far which is a like a city trip in Europe and it's always so much fun so this year because we have the wedding in London so we're combining that for his birthday we're going to London for a couple of days and other than that no um, no big uh, travel plans all right, so this is my highlight. Like I said, I don't use it every day, but sometimes I do use a little bit. It's the Hollywood Star Superstar Glow Highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's not like a in-your-face highlighter. It's very subtle, like a gold, gold highlighter. And I use it with the same brush, my same blush brush. It's also from Charlotte Til Tilbury. It's a bronzer and blusher, blush brush. And what I do is I tap a little bit like that, tap the axis off in my hand just to make it a little bit more subtle, just like that. Next question, top three perfumes. And I've been getting a little bit into perfumes lately. I just love the idea of just a different scent for every season. It's not necessary at all, but just like also when I'm making my videos to show you like what scent I'm using, it just completes the outfit. But I have, if I have to choose three, I will say La Vie et Belle. From Lancome, the intense one. Very. I saw a video on TikTok saying that it's a tacky perfume. I don't know. I really don't care because I think that scents are super personal. So what's like tacky for someone can be like my favorite, uh, you know, exhibit A. So I don't care. 
and the second one will be Mugler Alien also like such a nice perfume and the third one C by Giorgio Armani is also a very nice perfume I love more sweet floral perfumes so those are my top three all right to add some definition to my eyes I just use this brush from NYX I don't know which number it is and I just tap a little bit of the contour powder that I used contour shade a little bit of that and run it through my crease and at the end I flick it up so I don't I make like this motion so very subtle you don't maybe you won't even see anything but it's just you know a very subtle shade and then with this a brush this is a brush that i got in one of the anastasia palettes with this part i just use that same shade and run it through the lower my lower lash line just to define it a tiny bit all right what inspires your outfits and to get dressed up every day okay first of all i don't get dressed up every day i make my content in batches so my weekends are pretty much to make content because like i said i work full time so my we in my weekends i make like a lot of content so i can have you know something to post every day like on instagram and tiktok on youtube i make also make batch content but on youtube like with long form videos i only post once a week and i repost my uh, reels and tiktoks also on youtube shorts now because i don't know what's going on with youtube shorts but for some reason like youtube also wants to do short form content and the only downside but also exciting thing with these platforms is that you have to keep up to date with you know all the updates that they are doing and they pretty much um, reward you for posting every day or as much as possible sometimes even twice or three times a day and they punish you in a way if you don't so that's why you have to keep up with you know what the platforms or the algorithm demands because otherwise it doesn't make any sense to post like just once a week because it won't help you in any way so that's sometimes a pity because it makes content creation so difficult and that's why a lot of content creators get burnout because it's so much but for me because i i have to create batch content because you know i'm doing this on the side um so a lot of my content is not very current or with with you know with the times or a tra going on with the trends because i just can't make content every day so that's why i stick to the more also my style is super classic i stick to more of that more a little bit educational or like outfit inspirations because those are the type of content that I can wait, make way ahead of time and just disperse it um, all throughout the week but again that's a very long <laughs> answer and I didn't even answer the question uh, or partly but what inspires me is like I said in the beginning I really love consuming content I just love that so much it inspires me so watching other content creators watching I just watch a lot of youtube videos a lot of tiktok that inspires me so yeah i would say other other content creators inspire me to create like recreate their outfit can we see how you store your clothes shoes and bags that's a difficult one let me just um, move on actually with my brows i use this powder from bobby brown for like oof, 10 years now <laughs> It still, still has so much product in it. It's the color Rich Ex Espresso, and I use this brush from Dior number no. twenty five. And at the end, to flick them up a little bit, I use this brow freeze brow styling wax from Anastasia. This one, I think everyone knows this product but yeah i have a very small apartment well no let me let me rephrase that i don't have a very small apartment i have a decent apartment <laughs> sometimes you forget your blessings 
but yeah i have a decent apartment and one of the rooms i've converted into uh, like a studio where i film where i shoot my videos and i have one closet in another room that i share with uti and that's just so inconvenient <laughs> This is really first world problems, but it just because I have a lot of more clothes than you know the average person because of the the content that I create. At a point, it just the the closet. You know, if I had the closet for the whole closet for myself, it would be sufficient because my style, like I said, is pretty minimal and classic. So I don't need a bunch of stuff, but. In comparison to the average person, I do have quite a lot. Actually, Uti has more clothes than I than I do. So I would say like 75% of the closet is his clothes and I get like 25%. <laughs> and what I've done to make me manage my the clothes that I have a little bit better is to put um, the clothes that I don't use um, so now we are spring summer so my fall and winter pieces are in storage so that way I can rotate my clothes and what's also fun about that is that I like every season like every other season then I take out the clothes and it's like you know you're shopping your own wardrobe because it's clothes that you haven't seen in like six months so that's the way that i do it maybe another time because now i'm in curacao so i can really show you but i'll show you a little a few clips of you know the situation but mostly the things that i don't have are stored in like those vacuum you know those big bags and the other stuff that i have is um, i have a rail and i have a couple of shelves and that's pretty much it so that's why that also forces me to not buy a lot of stuff because i don't have a lot of space to store it all right next question is can you share your diet and exercise routine and i get this question often for exercise i follow um this uh it's more like a cardio hit and strength class on zoom really love that because i can do it from the comfort of my home ever since corona that the gym's closed i've started doing that and not going back to the gym the gym has its you know benefits you can maybe go a little bit harder at the gym but for me as long as i get a little bit of movement in that for me suffices and makes me super happy so that's what i do i do that during the weekends um one hour and during the week i do it uh two times a week for half an hour so in total that's three hours of workout a week and i have to be honest it doesn't work every single week so some weeks it's a little bit less and some weeks if i can get like a extra half an hour in i'll do that if not that's also fine so with my exercise i'm pretty consistent with my diet that's a whole nother story because i am um that person that you know i have struggled a lot with my weight in the sense that it always goes up like five five pounds the most that it has gone up is 10 pounds and then i can lose it pretty quickly but for me consistency is just very difficult so now i've had a very stable weight for a long time so i am very uh, happy with that but uh, i have to make very conscious decisions to keep it that way so for example i like to eat pretty healthy during the week and during the weekends i indulge a little bit but as soon as i don't work out i'll notice uh, i'll notice it right away so if i work out and eat healthy indulge a little bit during the weekends it's fine i'll just maintain my weight and that's pretty much what i'm aiming for i'm not aiming to lose weight i just want to maintain my weight and be um feeling fit and healthy of course if i can lose some uh, some uh, ch ch you know fat along the arms that will be uh, very nice but i'm not stressing about that i'm just embracing my body 
but yeah i have to consciously work on it because otherwise the kilos will add up real quick okay so i think it's now the brows are now okay i usually don't take this long with my brows but i can't really multitask so with the talking and the doing it's not going uh, so great but now i just put a little bit of this brow freeze for me they don't have to be super spiky or bushy just a little bit just to set them in place because my um, brows are pretty thin so even if a strong wind blows through <laughs> you will see them go that way so this is a nice way to just set them in place okay next question is what is your suggestion <laughs> for a good tinted lip balm and i would say this one from charlotte tilbury pillow talk is the best one there is as you can see it is like a mauvey brown pinkish color it's pretty translucent but still has a little bit of tint in it so this is always in my handbag whichever handbag i'm taking because it's so easy to put on you don't need a mirror or anything like that just put it on it gives a very nice you know sheer tinted lip balm also very moisturizing but for now for this look i like to go in with this dior 012 lip glow it's color a rosewood and what i like to do is put this on first and then put my lip liner i don't know why but i just think that the lip liner goes on a little bit softer that way this lip liner is also from charlotte tilbury um lip cheat color foxy brown just a perfect brown color and what i'm showing you right here is my perfect lip combo yeah so you can see it right here it's very subtle it's nothing super defined because again this is my everyday makeup look you can see here that this brown is pretty deep so you can go if you apply it like on more drier lips it's a pretty deep brown but with this technique i can make it a little bit softer and then i go in with this lipstick super fabulous from charlotte tilbury and this in my opinion is just the perfect lip combo for every day going to the office going to run errands even at night sometimes i just leave it like this if you want to make it a little bit more glossy i can add this gloss but for now i just i'll leave it like this because to me this is the everyday look now last question is do you use your camera or phone to shoot content while i answer that i'll go in with this um push up lashes pillow talk from charlotte tilbury color super black and for my instagram and tiktok videos and sh youtube shorts i use my phone it's super easy and the quality is great i have the iphone 13 pro max the camera quality is just incredible on that phone and i shoot with my phone because then it's easy to just um if it's something uh, if it's an easy video i can even edit it a little bit on my phone and just upload it real quick and otherwise i transfer it to my laptop and edit it on my laptop and my youtube videos so this video for example i'm shooting on my camera i use a sony alpha 6400 with the kit lens that's what i use for my long form videos and i'm thinking of getting a different lens something more wide angled but haven't gotten around to that yet all right so to finish everything off i'll go in with a little bit more of this hydration mist just to bring back a little bit of moisture to the face melt everything in and 
and that's it and that's the final look i really hope that you enjoyed this video that you got some tips on like skincare and makeup but more importantly that you got to know me a little bit better i think that it's super fun to do these videos because i'm more than just you know the clothes that i wear i do have a personality and a story as well so i'm very grateful that you guys showed interest in that and submitted your questions so thank you so so much for watching and leave a lipstick emoji in the comments below if you made it through this video up until the end of this video i really really appreciate that and i'll see you next sunday in my new video bye